So when you apply a preset ease to a tween, it gets applied to each property. And when I say property, I mean position, rotation, scale, color, etc. But in some cases, you may have an animation where you want to apply an ease to individual properties. Well, that's something you can do in Animate CC. For this example, I've animated the rocket so that it approaches a planet, rotates, and then descends and eventually lands. But as you'll see, as I scrub the timeline, this tween and ease are both interpolating the position and the rotation at exactly the same rate. In the first keyframe, the rocket is at a 45 degree angle. And in the second keyframe, I rotate it. What I'd like to do, however, is delay the rotation of the rocket until later in the classic tween span. If I select a frame inside the classic tween span and then go to the tweening section in the properties panel, you'll notice that in the easing drop-down menu, the default is all properties together. This means that the tweening and the easing are being applied to each property equally. If I want to change this, just click on the drop-down arrow and select each property separately. And now you'll notice that each of the properties are individually listed. So let's apply an easing for just the position property. Click on Classic Ease to open the preset easing panel. And since I want the rocket to ease out, I'm going to select Ease Out and double click on Quad. Next, I want to apply a different type of ease curve to just the rotation property. So next to Rotation, click on Classic Ease. But this time, let's click on Ease In so we can delay when the rotation actually starts. For the rotation, I'm going to click on Custom, and I've created a couple of custom eases. When I click on My Ease 2, you'll notice the custom curve that I've created. But let's take a closer look at this custom curve that I created. To do this, I'm going to click on the pencil next to My Ease 2. This will open up the Custom Ease panel. This is where I created the curve. Here at the bottom, you'll notice a very delayed gradual curve. This means that the rotation will ease in for a greater period of time, therefore delaying it. And here you'll notice in the upper right corner at the end of my custom curve, I've created just a nice soft easing out that happens pretty quickly. So this curve represents the rotation starting late so that most of the rotation will happen towards the end of the curve. So now when I play back the animation, you'll notice that the rocket stays pretty much at its 45 degree angle for about two thirds of the way through the classic tween. As we get towards the second keyframe in this classic tween, this is where you'll see the rotation of the rocket really start to take place. I hope this video helps. And remember that in Adobe Animate CC, one ease curve does not have to fit all properties.